and welcome to this long clippings video. Today is our inspiration post for Happily Ever After. We have so much fun stuff going on on the blog, lawnfun.blogspot.com, from April 9th to April 14th. We have so many giveaways. We're giving away stamps on every day. I mean, there's so many wonderful chances to win, so you guys definitely have to check that out. Also, the design team samples are amazing, so you're just going to be blown away. So today we're going to be talking about Happily Ever After, which is uh, Lawn Fun's wedding set. Uh, a lot of people had been asking for a wedding set from us, and um, this is definitely that, but there's of course a lot of other uses for it too. So I just wanted to show you guys some stuff from the set. So here it is all pretty in its package, and, um, and of course I'm going to be using my set that is the prototype so it doesn't have all this pretty packaging on it. <laughs> but uh, right here, uh, the first thing I wanted to show you is kind of the showcase from the set is this dress. Now the great thing about this dress is it can be a wedding dress, of course. This is a wedding set. Um, actually, I'm going to stamp it out in some memento. But it can also be a princess dress for little girls who are into all that Disney princess stuff that's all over the place. Um, it could also be a prom dress, um, a quinceanera dress. It, there's so many things that it could be um, that... Uh, they could have so many different uses. So that, that's actually one of the really fun parts of it, is you could do so many things with it. Um, of course, if we were to do it as a wedding dress, one thing I would like to do is take a, um, a B00 frost blue marker, and I think it'd be really pretty just to add some blue highlights to make it just a little bit wider, and then also it kind of gives it that something blue. And what the cool thing is, is you can just follow the highlights on it just like this. So all these little lines that we have, whimsy lines I like to call them. I think uh, uh, Tiffany on our design team, I think I first heard her say it that way. Um, and so you can kind of do a fun thing like this where you can just kind of add that blue and it just kind of makes the dress pop and I love the idea of something blue. Another fun thing that you could do with this dress is you could take it to that sort of Disney princess type thing. So for that, um, if I had to pick a favorite Disney princess, it would actually probably be Mulan because she's totally awesome, um, but Mulan doesn't wear a dress like this. So let's go with Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And what you could do is, um, I'm sure lots of you guys have daughters out here that, that love this kind of stuff. I know um, my niece loves this stuff. So you could actually draw, make it a bell dress. So you could do it with yellows, just like her dress when she's, you know, dancing with the beast. My Disney, my Disney movie knowledge is uh, maybe a little too much. But uh, so you can do really fun things here. So I'm just coloring it in really quickly. Um, another really fun thing to do would be to add um, gems to the belt or pearls for wedding um, or gems maybe for the princess dress. So there's a lot of fun stuff you can add here. That was Y21 Buttercup Yellow. And um, right now I'm just going through and just adding just some kind of highlights around the edges and then going along the lines. I'm doing it really messy. This is super quick coloring here because I just want to get kind of a quick color on it on the dress and sometimes when you do it quick like this you get sort of lines that almost look like fabric which makes it look really pretty. I apologize that we don't have great lighting today. Unfortunately, in sunny Southern California, it is not so sunny lately. It has been very rainy and cold for us here. I know it's not cold for everywhere else, but you know, we can't handle anything below 70. So uh, I have no sunshine today. <laughs> but uh, right now I'm just taking now my darker yellow, my Y19, and just adding more highlights along these lines. And you can see how fast this is going. And um, I'm going to highlight the belt and just the dress, just like that. And now you have, we've gone from wedding to, you know, whatever maybe your niece or your daughter or someone else's daughter's favorite Disney princess is, which I think is really fun. Um, also, you know, prom, like congrats on your prom or good luck with your prom, or I'm not sure exactly what the sentiment would be there, but something fun like that. Um, quinceañeras, uh, which are kind of um, like sweet 16s for um, Hispanic people. So I had a quinceañera, but I didn't do the big dress <laughs> back then, but uh, but I had a sunflower theme. But uh, then sweet 16, and also 
also debuts uh, for the Filipino community that they do when you're 18 could all be used for, these dresses could be used for that. So let's move on to some other fun things. We have some wedding bells, which are really fun. And what I love about these is these are wedding bells and Christmas bells. They can be both jingle bells depending on how you colored them. So here they are right here, and um, depending on if you colored them sort of in maybe in someone's wedding colors. I like to, when I do wedding cards, I like to do the colors of the wedding. I usually look at their invitation and try to match it. Um, but if you colored these in with some, some great golds and then like a red and green bow, these would be Christmas bells. So, you know, I like, I love when we can get lots of uses out of a set. So those are really fun. Um, one of the other fun stamps that we have in here is this and these little champagne glasses, or they could be Martin Nettley's apple cider glasses. And uh, the fun thing about these is they're really great for wedding, but they're also perfect for New Year's. So um, these could also be um, a Happy New Year's card. And so we're really trying to think of lots of uses for this. One of the fun things we have in here is we have these little hearts, and they're supposed to kind of be like little bubbles coming out of the champagne glasses. So that kind of makes it more wedding, and without those, uh, it could be more New Year's. So that's kind of fun. Also with these hearts is you could create a really great background. You guys know I love doing this. Just super cute, you know, and you could just keep stamping it create a great pattern. That could even be a pattern that you could make for the dress even with some creative masking. Um, we have some really fun sentiments. I love this one here. I'm gonna pick it up. You know, I like to, I always say this, when it, they're really long, it's nice to put them down and then pick it up with your block, just like that. So this is, we've tied the knot. I'm actually gonna put it up here. And um, I just love that because it could be used, um, you could take off the weave. So what you could do is we've tied the knot and that could actually be like thank you cards or different other types of things if you got married. If you take the weave off, so that means right now we're just gonna do some creative inking where we're only inking the tie the knot part. Now that could work for a wedding card for someone. And we also, of course, have a beautiful bow here. You guys know we love our bows. So the bow from this set, the bow, bows from Bows and Holly, um, so lovely. Uh, they could all be used for this. So really cute, right above. Obviously, you could change the colors up. I'm just doing it in black. It kind of shows up better in black on the video, especially with, with no sunshine today. So um, it's just so cute for a wedding card. I think it's adorable. And it could be used, you know, wedding shower, bridal showers, um, you know, all those different kinds of things. Um, you can actually even do engagement type cards. Congratulations on your engagement with this really fun ring, which I just love. So you could also do, and other cute things you could do with this ring could be like ring in the new year or something kind of cheesy like that, which could be really cute. But here's the ring. And, uh, and so I just love that. And so you could do like a really great, um, you know, kind of a silver band on it. You could use like BG11 and just add some kind of shine to the diamond by just going along the edges of the diamond. And this could be a really great card just like that. With, with the ring just like that. And then the great thing is, is we have a um, congrats in here. So this congrats could work for being engaged, bridal shower, the wedding, um, anything like that. So that's really great. And I just, I love the fonts on these. Also the congrats you could use for any card. I mean, this is, you know, graduation, anything like that. So it's just really nice to have a congrats sentiment. So you can just see that one right here. So it's just really, I just really love the font in this set that we did. Um, and then we also have some other kind of cute little things. We have a music note and a heart, which are really fun right here. And these also can just be used for just, just anything, you know, creating cute backgrounds. Also perfect for the bells is putting kind of the music notes and the hearts around the bells, just like that. Which, um, which is really fun. And then you could create a background kind of how we did here with, with the little heart cluster of stamps. 
Um, then we also have a Cheers, which um, could be used for anything also. I mean, Cheers is just a great sentiment, but I love it with the wine glasses, of course. Um, or the champagne, I guess, or Martinelli apple cider glasses. I'm really into these Izzy drinks, I-Z-Z-E -E drinks. I don't know if you guys have had them, but they're like these fruit fizzy drinks. Um, they could also be there in that too, because those are so good. Um, and then my favorite sentiment, of course, out of the whole set is the wishing you a happily ever after. Um, I just, I don't know, I love the idea of happily ever after. I guess, I guess I just believe in happily ever after, so I just think it's such a wonderful, sweet sentiment. And um, you could use this for a bridal shower, you could use this for a wedding. You could wish anybody a happily ever after any time, really. It doesn't have to just be at a wedding. Um, and I just, it's just such a beautiful sentiment. Um, I really do. And you could also even not ink up the wishing you a uh, and just put a happily ever after too, which would be really nice. And then we have these two hearts. They're kind of two hearts together. Two hearts is one. I know this set just gets lovey-dovey, but you could put that right above and just have the sweetest, most simple, beautiful card that way. Um, I really like that. So happily ever after. I don't know. I think we should just use that for more than just wedding. I think that would be fantastic. So anyways, um, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and all the different ideas that you could do with happily ever after. It is a wedding set, but there are other things you can do um, like princess dresses, um, prom dresses, you know, engagement, bridal showers, Christmas bells, New Year's, and of course, wedding. Um, so make sure you head on over to the blog and check out all the amazing samples and go comment to win on the blog because there's so many chances to win and winning is awesome. So um, <laughs> anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day. We'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye.